GMDSS is an international system that uses terrestrial and satellite technology and shipboard radio systems to allow rapid response in an emergency situation. Nowadays, distress messages can be initiated digitally by pressing the call button on the radio set. Radio sets transmit a distress message by voice on channel 16, on a VHF transmitter, or on 2182 kHz on an MF transmitter. The reception range of a VHF transmitter to a coastal station averages 35 nautical miles and between an MF transmitter and a coastal station, 150 nautical miles. If you or your vessel are in grave and immediate danger, use the Mayday call. Mayday is the internationally recognized radio telephony distress signal for a person or a vessel in grave and imminent danger. Start a Mayday call procedure as follows. Check that the main battery switch is on and switch the radio to a high power setting. Select channel 16 on VHF or 2182 kHz on an MF transmitter. When you use the MF transmitter, the distress message should be preceded by the two-tone alarm. Press the transmit button and say slowly and clearly, Mayday, 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 this is... Repeat the name of vessel three times. Mayday, this is... Name of vessel spoken once. My position is... State your latitude and longitude, or true bearing and distance from a known point. Now give information about the nature of distress, assistance required, number of persons on board, and other vital information. End your Mayday call with a word over. For example, Mayday, 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 this is Seahorse A, Seahorse A, Seahorse A, Mayday, this is Seahorse A. My position is 051 degrees 25 minutes north and 004 degrees 55 minutes west. I'm on fire and require immediate assistance. Six adults and two children on board, eight in total. One adult is injured and in critical condition. Over. Another very important aid to one-way radio communication is the EPIRB. EPIRB stands for Emergency Position Indicating Radio Beacon. The EPIRB transmits the distress alert to a satellite. The satellite locates the EPIRB's position and relays the information to a land station and in turn the land station relays the information to a rescue coordination centre. EPIRBs contain an optional 121.5 MHz homing beacon. This homing device facilitates search and rescue helicopters with VHF direction finders. SART stands for Search and Rescue Transponder. It's a device for locating ships or their survival craft in distress. The SART operates in the 9 GHz frequency band, generating a series of dots when being interrogated by a search craft with an X-band 3 cm radar. As the search craft approaches to within one nautical mile of the SART, the 12 dots change to wide arcs and eventually into complete circles as the search craft nears the SART. For the person in distress, the SART provides a visual and acoustic indication when being interrogated. The detection range from a rescue ship to the SART is a minimum of 5 nautical miles and from a search and rescue helicopter up to 40 nautical miles. GMDSS uses four coverage areas A1, A2, A3 and A4. These areas together cover the sea areas of the world. Sea area A1 is an area within very high frequency VHF range of a coast station fitted with digital selective calling, DSC. This range is about 30 to 40 miles. Sea Area A2 is an area with medium frequency MF range of a coast station fitted with DSC, 
This range is about 150 miles. Sea Area A3 is an area covered by the Inmarsat satellite system, excluding Sea Areas A1 and A2. Sea Area A4 is basically the polar regions that are not covered by the other sea areas. Depending on how far from shore you will operate your craft, the following minimum GMDSS equipment should be on board. Distress signals are used when a boat or a crew member are in grave and imminent danger and require immediate assistance. Several devices can be used to attract the attention of possible rescue units. A radio, an EPIRB, a radar transponder, pyrotechnics, flags and signals. Join the Skipper Check VHF course to learn even more.